the Voice Memos app doesn't have a built-in way to take a voice recording and turn it into text on a screen. But using live captions and accessibility feature, you can transcribe a voice recording and read what it says on your iPhone or Mac. You can use live captions if your device language is set to English and you are using an iPhone 11 or newer running at least iOS 16. Live captions is also supported on the iPad 8 or newer, iPad Air 3rd generation or newer, iPad mini 5th generation or newer, iPad Pro 11-inch all generations, and iPad Pro 12.9-inch third generation or newer. All iPads must be running at least iOS 16. If you find the video helpful, hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Let's get started. To turn on live captions on your iPhone or iPad, and although I'm doing this on my iPhone, remember that you can do it on your iPad as well. We'll want to open up the Settings app, scroll and tap on Accessibility, scroll down in Accessibility until you see Live Captions, tap on that. Go ahead and toggle on the switch that says Live Captions. Below that, tap on Appearance. I'll leave this up to you, but you can change the text size, the color, the background color, the opacity. I'll leave that up to you. Go ahead and tap on Back. Live Captions can also be used in FaceTime, so you can toggle that switch on if you want to see uh, text on the screen during your FaceTime call. And you'll notice once I toggled on the live caption switch that the live captions icon appeared on my screen. Now that we have live captions turned on, we're going to want to go ahead and open the voice memos app, which you can see right there. I'll open it, locate the recording that you want to transcribe. So in this case, I'm going to use the work to recording. I'm going to tap on the live caption screen. And once I do, if the microphone is on, it's going to pick up my voice, but I want it to pick up the work to voice. So I'm going to hold on for a second and not talk for a few seconds, but I'm going to go ahead and tap on the live captions and Right now it's in paused. I'm going to tap on play in the work recording and then I'm going to unpause. I'm going to pause it for a second. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it to full screen by tapping on the little uh, diagonal arrows. I'm going to go ahead and tap on that. So if I wanted to, I could turn off the um, volume and just watch the recording as it scrolls by. If I want to come back so that I have it in the smaller version, I can go ahead and tap on the double arrows. I'm going to go ahead and tap on play. And you can see that it's picking up the recording again. So this is an easy way for you to use a transcription when you're working inside of the voice memos app. I'm going to go ahead and pause again. I'm going to stop the recording and I'm just going to remind you that if you want to turn off live captions, all you have to do is swipe out of here. I'm going to hit the back arrow, which is going to bring us back to the icon on the screen. I'm going to come into settings. I'm going to scroll to accessibility. I'm going to scroll down until under hearing, I see live captions, and I can go ahead and toggle that switch off. And you'll see that the icon disappears. A couple of bonus tips that will allow you to uh, see uh, 
text on the screen using your voice. You can use the Translate app or the Messages app. So the following tips will help if you're hard of hearing and you want to be able to see a voice recording translated to text on your screen. Let's start with the Translate app. So the first thing we're going to do is open the Translate app. Make sure that translation is uh, highlighted. And now what you're going to want to do is be sure that you're in the language that you understand. So for me, this is English. And so what you want to do is using the Translate app, you're going to tap on the microphone and ask the person to begin speaking. So I'm going to tap on the microphone. And once I tap on the microphone, you're going to see that I can see the message on the screen. So you can use this if you're hard of hearing and you're unable to see or hear what people are saying to you. This is an easy way to see voice recordings on the screen and they're transcribed as someone is speaking them. So even though you're seeing the translation into Spanish, what I want you to focus on is the fact that you can use the Translate app to have someone speak to you so that you're able to read the text there on the screen. You can also use the Messages app. And so what you'll want to do is open a new message, and I've already done that. Start a new conversation, and I'm going to use myself as the contact. So we're going to tap on the plus button and we're going to choose audio. And now as soon as I do, it starts recording and I can speak my message and say whatever I want. And then when I'm finished, I'm going to go ahead and hit the stop button. And once I hit the stop button, I'm going to go ahead and tap on send. And what should happen is, is in a few seconds, you should see the transcription below, below the screen. And so there it is. So I tapped on the message, the voice message, and below that, what I said is transcribed on the screen. So that's another way to have your voice transcribed so that you can see it or so that you can send it to someone else for them to see it. Use the audio function in messages. While the Voice Memos app lacks a direct transcription feature, Live Captions and Accessibility Tool allows users to transcribe voice recordings on iOS devices. By enabling Live Captions in the device settings, users can effortlessly convert spoken dialogue into text in real time, providing accessibility and convenience. Additionally, leveraging Live Captions for Voice Memos and the bonus tips like Translate or Messages app offers a comprehensive solution for transcribing and understanding spoken content on iPhones and iPads. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.